Hey guys, and welcome to Tasmania TV, where I'm coming at you today with this pop art makeup look. It's perfect for Halloween if that's what you like, but I actually wore this to a fetish club. I'm starting out by doing my base, and I'm using airbrushing today with the Temp2 AirPod because it is waterproof and long-lasting, so it'll last me all night. Just using my fingers to even out things around the eyes because things tend to crease there. Then I'm going in with a white eyeliner in my waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit more and make them appear more clear and bright, I suppose. Then I'm going to do some shading on my cheekbones, my temples, and down the center of my nose. And then I'm doing some highlights with a non-shiny white eyeshadow first and then going in with a shimmery one to add a bit of shine and bedazzle as well. And then I'm adding some blusher to put that color back into my cheeks and I'm using a nice rosy pink one. A tip is to have some photos on your phone while you do the pop art part of this tutorial for inspiration. You can use aqua colors like these to create the lines or you can use alcohol activated makeup. I'm going to use a combination of these two today. I'm going to start by using water activated in white and I'm going to use a q-tip to make these little dots. You can create the dots in any pattern or you can do them all over your face if that's what you like. I'm gonna do with two sessions of the dots. So I'm doing one beneath my eye like so and then I'm gonna do one on my jawline on the other side. You basically just press the q-tip onto your skin like that or you just press it and twist it. Then I'm going in with the black from the alcohol activated palette and I'm using a small detailed brush for this. And basically what you're doing when you're doing the black lines is creating exaggerated shadows. So just imagine yourself as a cartoon character and then just go over wherever you feel like you want to exaggerate those lines. And for me this means drawing in eyebrows from scratch as well. So I'm doing like large exaggerated black brows today. So just creating like an exaggerated jawline and a cheekbone and like, enhancing the lines down my neck and just wherever you want to go with these lines and you don't feel like you have to be symmetrical on both sides. And at this point it looks a little bit weird but it's going to get better. Then I'm going to go in with this lip lacquer which is a semi-permanent red lipstick from Makeup Revolution. This lasted me all night which is perfect. I didn't need to do any touch-ups at all. Then I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and I'm placing that underneath my waterline, so not on the waterline where we put the white. I'm just doing a bit of a downwards wing in the inner corner and outer as well. Then going in with a flat brush and a matte white eyeshadow and placing that all over my eyelid. Also putting a little dash on my nose. And then I'm going in with a waterproof liquid eyeliner to create an exaggerated crease over that white eyeshadow that we just placed and I'm doing a wing for that one as well because I do love a good wing. Then I'm going back in with that alcohol activated black and I'm creating the details in the mouth. Just be careful to not get these, this alcohol in your mouth because it's like 98% alcohol and that's going to be really gross. So firstly I'm outlining the lips with black and then I'm doing this shaded thing like in the almost into the mouth like this and then creating the exaggerated lines downwards and upwards which is basically those natural lines those creases that you have in your lips just super exaggerated versions of it and that gives you that cartoonish looking lip then i'm going in with the white aqua color again and just adding two highlights to make that lip look really cartoonish and make it pop Then I'm going in with mascara for the bottom lashes and top lashes, nothing weird here. And I always use waterproof. And then just setting that pencil liner underneath the eye with a dark gray shadow to make sure that it doesn't crease. 
And the final step is adding falsies. And then, my dear friends, this tutorial is completed and I am now transformed into a pop art character. So I had a lot of fun with this makeup. I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more Halloween related tutorials and take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.